Hi everyone, a uh, very instructive and cool video for you guys today. I'm going to talk about uh, check, checking mate techniques against Kim Musso, aka Jonin Goals. Um, this video is not for exercise and you can pause the video if you want enough time to think because I'm going to reveal solutions right away. Okay, let's begin. Uh, in this position, uh, it looks like you can move this goal to 8-1 to check, but then um, he will be able to escape this way, so this is not good. Instead, you can uh, drop this goal right here. Um, Silver can't move this way because Dragon is pointing at this king, so he has to take this by the king, but... Uh, you can move this dragon to checkmate the king. So it's three move. Okay, next one. Um, this promotion is obvious, right? And it, it, it looks like easy one, but he can just run and there is no following lines after this. And this is not effective because he can simply run and he's going to be able to escape this way. Instead, you can drop bishop right here. It's kind of odd because uh, you can drop the bishop uh, at the loophole, basically, right? And he can simply take it, and you can move this promoted pawn right here. And you can check and it, there is no way he can drop uh, drop a piece right here to intervene because uh, two pieces are attacking this square and this square is only defended by the king so it's checkmate but even if he takes it by the goal then you can uh, promote your rook and this king has nowhere to go uh, this is check uh, promoted pawn attacking this square and dragon is attacking this square and he can't move this way because this is dragon so this is checkmate okay next one is so simple and it it looks like it's still okay but it's not uh this looks great but he can simply run uh, and this is too heavy because a silver can only move one square at a time, right? So you can't actually catch up. Instead of dropping silver, you can drop a bishop right here uh, to prevent this king from going this direction. And he has to run this way. Then you can sacrifice the silver and he has no choice but to take this silver, then you can uh, promote your bishop. Uh, he can drop a piece right here because this square is attacked by uh, the horse and rook, and this square is attacked by, under the attack by the horse, so he has to go this way. Then uh, you can retreat your horse or uh, promote your rook. And this is checkmate. Okay, next one. Uh, this bishop drop is tempting, but he can simply run. Uh, and you only got two knights, right? So there is no way to check this king using these knights. But you you can't uh, take the goal because he can simply recapture. And even if you drop the goal, but then he moves back and there is no further attack, so you fail. Instead of the bishop drop, uh, you can drop a knight here first. And if he runs, uh, you can take the goal and he take it back and you can drop the goal right here. To surround this king and he has to run then you can drop a uh, bishop right here or, or right here 
so he can't run and it's, he actually has to take it then you can drop uh, bishop right here and he has to run and you just created empty space right here and at this square on this square you can drop a knight and he has to take it then uh, you can move this dragon right here or promote your bishop uh, right here and checkmate okay next one uh, this is also realistic uh, and your knight is attacking this goal and you only have silver and knight and again this move looks tempting but uh, he can simply take it and he can go both ways so it's really hard to uh, chase this king so he will be able to uh, run away of course he can move this way to get away with this king so this promotion is a bad move instead of taking this gold uh, you can drop a bishop right here and he can go this way right because this knight is attacking the square and if he moves back uh, you can take this gold to check this king and he can take it back but if he uh, drop something on this square you can simply take this gold and he has to take it oh no 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 you can simply take this gold and he can take it because this promoted silver is defended by the knight so in this position he actually has to take it but then uh, you can recapture it and he has to take it and usual technique uh, this knight drop happened uh, if he takes it it's obvious right but if he uh, runs uh, whichever he goes uh, you can drop the gold right here and this is also a checkmate okay next one uh, I situ this situation is kind of broad so let's go take a look at uh, step by step um, you may want to drop a uh, rook right here because this looks strong right but in this case he can simply run and uh, there's no further attack uh, this square is defended by the king and the gold right so you can't drop uh, gold right here because it's two attackers against two defenders so this is not good Okay, um, uh, you can drop a goal right here either because he runs and even if he uh, drop a rook right here, he can drop something on this square. Uh, please remember, this is still a uh, checkmate problem. So uh, you can just assume he owned the rest of the pieces right here so he can drop something to intervene. So this is bad instead of these drops you can drop a uh, rook right here instead uh, in this case he can drop something right here because this square is under the attack by the rook and pawn right even if he runs you can drop a go drop a goal right here or here and if he runs a uh, rook promotion happens and this is an uh, easy checkmate so he only has one option which is this then um you can drop a uh, gold right here this is important uh if he takes it then you can promote a pawn and he runs again and rook promotion is great and this is checkmate right because this square is attacked by the two pieces so actually he has to run this way and it looks like uh, there is no further attack but there actually is uh, you can actually take this gold amazing attack right and if he takes it by the gold uh, you can drop the gold right here and this is checkmate he has nowhere to go but even if the king takes it uh, you can 
drop a goal right here and the he runs the goal moves to the side and this is also checkmate okay next one uh, this is kind of difficult uh, but this is a very very useful technique so you should remember um, it's this drop uh, what is it? Uh, it it looks like something happens uh, out of nowhere and all of a sudden he's in the trouble and uh, believe it or not uh, this is actually checkmate uh, he has no choice but take it and you can drop a silver right here uh, what if uh, the goal takes it it's easy right you can drop the silver he runs look for motion he runs and you can drop a gold or uh, you can move the dragon right here to checkmate oh, uh, if king takes it uh, this gold drop is awesome if he runs you can take the gold and king takes it uh, you can drop a goal right here uh, if he take you <coughs> if he takes your rook uh, you can drop the silver right here but if he runs you can drop a silver right here and this is, is also checkmate right so uh, here he ha actually has to take it but then this uh, cool promotion is awesome he has nowhere to go right so he has to actually drop something right here then you got silver and the silver can move backwards diagonally right so you can check the skin to finish it so this is a cool move okay next one um, if you are successful to solve uh, solve the previous uh, problem may, maybe you are thinking about this drop right but in this case it doesn't work because he can take it and if you drop something he can take it and there is no further attack he can just keep going this way and you are you're going to fail um, instead of this knight drop uh, you can drop a knight right here instead he also has to take it right and then uh, you can drop uh, silver right here uh, if silver takes it is it checkmate right so in this position the king actually has to take it then you can drop a knight right here and if he runs this way easy checkmate uh, this square is attacked by this knight so he can go this way so this is checkmate but even if he runs this way uh, you can keep going uh, it looks like you are running out of pieces but it's going to be checkmate silver has to take it uh, knight promotion happens and he has to take it again then you can uh, promote your rook right here uh, if he runs you can drop the silver right here uh, he can go this way because again this square is under the attack by this uh, knight but if he uh, drops something on this square then you can drop a knight right here and he has to run and then this time you can drop the silver right here and this is also a uh, checkmate so as you already know so even if our castle is pretty much intact uh, you can even checkmate the king when the when certain conditions are met 
that's it. Uh, this is all I uh, wanted to show you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and find this video useful. Uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.